Go for it, Adi. Oh, balls! <laughs> nice one! Nice one! I've never really had anybody to look up to. Yeah, your dad's a drunk. Yeah. Your ma's a drunk. <laughs> you know, if I knew where my dad was, I, I bet you'd get along really good with your dad. <laughs> drunk parents, man, they screw shit up. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you want another beer? I don't know how those dishes would get washed without you around, Donnie. Huh? It's good I can help, Alice. Are you crying? No. Oh, oh, is that Steven? Is it Steven? Huh? Linda? Oh. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll be right there. And over here is where the guest urinated. It, is he all right? <laughs> um, yeah, he's, um, he's on his period. You got any chocolate? <laughs> Come on, Artie, let's just go to a strip club. No. No, we get some boobs jammed in your mouth. No. Come on, this douche isn't going to help you. We're going to see our mentor right now. Your mentor. Huh. Professor Teabag, he's actually a brilliant ghost scholar. He's the splinter to our Ninja Turtles. Oh, he's the splinter to my Ninja Balls. Professor Teabag! Oh, oh. Hello! My little Artie! Oh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> wow, it's a nice office, Teabag. Well, simplicity is the key to life, Dallas. Yeah, I noticed that you didn't get the picture that I sent you of your mom blowing me. So, tell me about your recent adventures. Uh, n none to tell, really, sadly. You haven't seen any paranormal activity? I have. Um, yeah, I'm, I was watching Skinamax last night. And this ghost in my pants, he started uh, moving around right around my crotch area. It was spooky. <laughs> Professor Teabag, I'm here for advice. Love is getting in the way of my research. Things with you and Linda aren't getting any better. No. In 1934, my grandfather, he climbed up Mount Mukulu. Well, then suddenly, a thousand ghosts appeared out of thin air. Well, not backing down from them, he stood up to these ghost bastards, he punched them all hard in the face. Simply put, you have to punch all these ghosts that are surrounding you, Artie. Hard! Professor Teabag, you've helped me yet again. Wow. This is Kool-Aid! Alright, let's go to the strip club. No. Alright, plan B then. What's plan B? I'll just say you'll go along with plan B, Hardy. All right, what's plan B? Strip club. No. No, Dallas. Oh, come on! You gotta take your mind off Linda the Skank. Yeah, Professor Teabag just taught me how to do that. What, by punching ghosts in the face? Yes, by punching the ghosts in the face that are consuming my being. Wait. We got a call. All right. Dallas. Dallas? How dare he? I forced my cigarette in your mouth. Who the hell are you? Oh, we're Spook Squad. You're Spook Squad? Yeah. I'm Sky. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Like the sky in the sky? Mm -hmm. Uh. Can I come in and. Only if you can protect me from these horrible ghosts. My daughter's being tormented by the ghost of James Dean. How do you know it's James Dean? Who the hell else would it be? That thing is a rebel, forcing itself upon my daughter every night, pouring liquor down her throat, wow. racing cars. When will it end? It will end today, sir. It will end today. 
I want to show you something over here. Uh, why don't we? Um, did, did you want to start? Oh yeah, in the bed. In the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Herb. 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 Nah. So um, what do you think about our dilapidating economical status? I think it's quite appalling. Yeah, I agree. What do you think about hot dogs? I only like it when they're in my pink taco. That's the name of this piece of crap that Sky's mom painted. She's dead now. Mm. In hell. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Burning in hell, I mean, like a fat kebab. Spinning around. Suffering. Day and night. Her blackened soul ripped to shreds repeatedly in eternal hellfires and damnation. I got, I, I got it. Thank you, you paint. Wonderful mental pictures. Sky's mom was a dirty whore. Over here is where the ghost raped Sky. Yeah. Nope. I don't detect any ghosts in your pants. <laughs> huh. I walked into the room yesterday and the sheets were all going crazy. When Sky saw me, she just started screaming, Help! James Dean's ghost is raping me! What did you do? Well, I saw an infomercial on TV once about punching ghosts. They said it was the best offense. So I, I just started punching the air. <clears throat> you know, hoping I would smack that sneaky ghost right in the face. Seems to be what you have to do these days. So, um... It's about the time that I realized it's the same size as Mount Makalu. Wow. You must really connect to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What? Right, honey. The Lord is all around us. Inside us. Squirting his magic. All over us. It's not gay to say you love the Lord even though he's a man. Just for the record. Uh, you like that Jesus guy? Hmm? Oh, yes. I love him. So, where is Jesus in your life? Oh, um, I usually see him down on Hollywood and Vine taking a big, hey, um... Hey! I have to pee. I drank too much. What? Cool, Daddy. Why you? Why you? <laughs> oh, I'm a lucky man. I'm lucky that my little girl didn't turn out to be a huge skank. Like her mom. Jesus Christ. Ghost condoms? They're not mine. Mm hmm. I think my work here is finished. Oh, please don't tell my dad, please. You're a girl. You're good. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get over somebody that I love? Burn everything that reminds you of them. And if a fire breaks out, just blame it on ghosts. <laughs> Thanks. Here he comes. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. That was nice. Hey, Artie, come throw some water balloons. It's all right, Dallas. I'm okay. Uh, are you cooking something? Nope. Sponging ghosts in the face.